What's up, y'all? Welcome to Connect. I'm your host, DJ Is. For those of you who are just tuning in, this is our 21st episode. I figured I'd give y'all a little break because in the back. Um, you know, good life. Good morning. This is what just turned Connected. It's pretty all about. I had to, I had to stop because I want, I want to make sure you guys hear me. Um, you know, Connected is pretty self explanatory. It's a show that brings job opportunities mentoring um you know real live uh, interviews just uh, an array of things that align you with the direction you want to go and for my community that has been following me since day one we got some great exciting things coming up um i don't want to i don't want to spoil it but you're going to see some new faces you're going to see a whole lot of interviews uh you're going to see a whole nother energy to what we're doing and uh shout out to my team who allows me to consistently make this happen for you guys I already see i got some folks coming in what up doug from la i see you man um so a matter of fact get your q a ready so by the time i get out of the grind ops we can hit off these questions and uh, just you know get you as much information as i can so check it out last week we were at our 100 job milestone mark where we at this point uh we're at show 21 but we we've presented over 100 jobs so that was a huge huge deal for us last week so i'm glad that you guys are catching up with me um today um i actually maria i got a welcome from brazil so what up maria shout out thank you for uh joining us here uh monday morning um and you know man just overall i'm excited about what's coming up what we got coming for you guys and um you know i think it's a great thing for, for those of you who've been since then, be sure to follow me here, which is social media handle is is connected. Great way for you to guys stay connected to us to track our day to day movement and see what's going on in the real world, because um, that's what we're all about. You know, it's not just me about me uh, being in a room and, and and sharing information. It's really about you guys being able to see how it goes down in the real work environment. All right, so we're gonna kick off our grind ops today. Moving forward, we are in the field of recording. This is for all my sound engineers. Hotel is looking for a live sound engineer for venue operations and artist communications. This is in New Orleans, New Orleans, all right, Louisiana. So, let me drop some of these details. <clears throat> sound engineer, New Orleans. Hotel looking for a live sound engineer for venue operations and artist communications. Responsibilities will include maintenance of in-house system setup and breakdown, gear liaison between hotel and bands, and we report to and walk directly with cultural engineer and production manager. Okay, the time management is a must for this position. Candidate must have a positive attitude, a true love for music, and a desire to give musicians and the audience the best experience possible. Treating artists with the utmost respect is central to this position. So Usually before I get into grind ups, I always tell you guys to, you know, get your pen, get your pad, because you're going to want to take down all this information. Um, <clears throat> so as you can see, this week we got a lot of detailed information going out. Okay. So back to this particular grind up. Time management management is a must for this position now. Over the course of, you know, 20 shows, I've, I've stressed structure, um, being on point when it comes to time, uh, you know, Overperforming, getting in there and and really being able to excel and go beyond what the job is asking for. I think all these are all crucial fundamentals of, of work and, and working in an environment like this. Is you just want to make make sure that you're you're on point in all these different areas. You know, being able to to manage time is a very very hard thing to do for a lot of folks. I know for me, it, yeah, it came through just learning experiences. So, you know, it's one of those things where you map out your day and you don't let your day get away from you. You keep on point because one, one late, you know, thing that comes up in your day or one, one person's off time, you'd be surprised at how much it can really shift your day and throw everything else off. So you got to kind of really be strict on that. Um, and the great thing is, you know, they're looking for a live sound engineer for venue operations. So I know we got a whole lot of live sound engineer students at the recording connection so this is another great opportunity for you guys 
Um, but it's also a good thing for you guys to know your gear. I always say, you know, when you get into these environments, you might be used to working with one particular piece of equipment. It's always best to know an array of equipment. I've been in situations where, you know, I've worked in these particular life settings and the venue has actually got a new sound guy and it slows us down because he's coming in and he's still learning the board, he's still learning the room, you know, and that can really, really slow down the workflow of things and, and things that need to happen. So that's crucial. You'll also be a, li a liaison between hotel and bands, okay? So just with that within itself, it's really knowing the language, knowing just how to interact and engage in those particular different individuals. Bands is different than talking to hotels, and talking to hotels is different than talking to bands. So you really just want to be a people person. You want to be uh, very assertive, but you want to be also, you know, you want to set off the vibe that you're listening and you want to compliment what it is that they'd like to achieve with their sound. Um, and, you know, work, being able to work through all the kinks and stuff is, is crucial because, I, you know, in these environments, you get you get uh, folks that set up, you got a buzz, you got a hum, and they just want to just they just want to get that taken care of so they can move forward and, and get to playing and checking their sound. So being able to work through those things fast and efficient is really, really, really great. OK, um, dealing with hotels. So, you know, you got to be you got to be business savvy. You got to know the language of business and how to present yourself and how to just you know, make things make things flow in, in a way that, you know, the person out at the hotel can can really get with you on that. Okay. Report directly with cultural engineering production managers. So you'll be working with other folks. That's another important thing I tell folks all the time on this show. Know how to work with people, be humble and, and be be able to listen and be able to deliver. That's that's really key. Okay. So they want you to be passionate. Also, you got to have a true love for music. And I would assume that anybody, engineering, recording, um, you film, I mean, it just, you want to be passionate about what you're doing. You want to love what it is that you do. And you want to show up and emote those things, okay? So energy in these environments is always a great, great thing. Always a plus. Um, and I'm sure you know, you know, this last detail was treating artists with the utmost respect is central to this position and i'm sure you already know how what the get down is you know you get into these environments you treat everybody with respect okay um and you know you'll run into artists that you know got a foul attitude you know uh, sitting high on a horse and you know you just you gotta just man in in one ear out the other and just continue to do your job with grace all right so that is uh the details for grind op number one we're moving on to grind op number two this is in the field of recording again audio engineer instructor kids after school program seeks audio engineer to work as part-time instructor this is in midlothian va okay details for this are kids after school program seeking an audio engineer to work as part-time instructor audio engineer will teach basic pro tools and music sequencing Audio engineer will be responsible for coordinating setup, breakdown, and recording birthday parties, live events, and mini concerts. Candidate must be able to communicate effectively and manage time schedules for different age groups. Candidate will have to pass a background check. Now, here's the thing. Anytime you work in any type of uh, school or institution, they always do a background check. So for those of you who, you know, are a little worried about those kind of things, it's a must. So it's just something that that is required. Um, so, you know, the cool thing is anytime you're working with kids, you want to, you know, you want to have a clean slate anyway. So you never want to get into these positions and you miss out on an opportunity because you, you know, you got some mess on your record. All right. Another great thing, this is for kids, man. And I'm always passionate about doing things for kids. It's the after school program. And, you know, I think that's a great way for those of you who are kind of just getting in the game and getting your feet wet you know this is a great experience to kind of build those things uh, especially on your resume which is something we always talk about here um and you'll be you know you'll be teaching basic pro tools and music sequencing so it sounds like a really really cool environment probably going to be a lot of good energy um you know and you'll be just be take, teaching the basics um obviously you want to know pro tools because that's what you'll be teaching and instructing on and you'll be responsible for coordinating setup, breakdown, and recording of birthday parties, live events, and mini concerts. So that's where structure comes in. That's where um, being able to put things together, work with other folks, being able to be time sufficient. Those are the, the components that come in handy with those particular uh, asks. 
all right, for this particular job. And you must be able to communicate effectively and manage time schedules. See, there you go again. You know, you kind of have to look at those things as opportunities that you kind of, you want to ask yourself, well, how am I with time? How am I with putting people together? How am I with executing deadlines? All those things you want to ask yourself because you you have to be good at it with yourself first before you can get into a, a job and, and put those kind of things together. All right, so keep that in mind. Moving on to grind up number three. All right, this is in the field of film for all my recording connection film students. Check this out. Cinematographer, video editor, popular outdoor hunting TV and YouTube show needs a talented individual to work with host. Redmond WA. All right. So, uh, fun because, man, I grew up hunting, so that just sounds cool to me. All right. So, a candidate must be proficient with Final Cut Pro and Adobe Premiere. Candidate must submit examples of past projects that he, she has created. This is a full-time position, which will require worldwide travel of up to 100 days per year. Now, that sounds hella fun. So, for those of you who are in the film, cinematographer, video editor, Road. This sounds like a really, really cool opportunity. Uh, it doesn't say that you have to be from WA, so it sounds like you can you can partake in this particular grind op from wherever you're at. I know we get a couple of grind ops that specifically you know require you live in that specific city. Um, so this sounds like a great opportunity, man. Um, you obviously got to be uh, familiar with Final Cut Pro and Adobe Premiere, and like I said, it's best to always be familiar with the gear or the software that comes within this within your particular uh, line of career that's how you want to be you want to be you don't want to be mr know-it-all but you want to be mr know some of it all all right so uh submit examples of past projects that he or she has created so that sounds like putting together a reel um i always say reels are great especially in the film world because you know you can always show somebody better than you can tell them and it allows to see people allows people to see your work, what you can put together, and what you can deliver. Quality versus raggedy. Um, so those are the things that 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 are great that come along with putting a reel together. And it's out doing Honey TV YouTube show. So that sounds like you'll be out in the woods. You'll be out in rough terrain. You might be rogue. No cell phone. Uh, you know, uh, bars might be down. You know what I mean? No internet. So. Definitely, definitely sounds very adventurous and very fun. Um, and you'll be working with a host. You know, hopefully the host is cool. Hopefully the host is fly. But even if it's not that, it's a great opportunity to get in there and add something to your resume. Okay. This is a full-time position, which require worldwide travel for up to 100 days. So that's a lot of traveling, folks. There's only 365 days in the year and 100 of them you'll be on the go, on the run and make a move so you want to make sure for this particular grind up that you're able to be that mobile um because you don't want to get in there and sign on because it just was a great opportunity and then later on down the road you got to bow because you can't travel like that okay so keep that in mind moving on to grind up number four this is in the field of film again recording connection students check it out streaming media video producer online business communication company seeks video producer to create on-site productions for in expo customers this is in san francisco california love the bay all right uh online business communication video company seeking a video producer that will create engaging on-site production for in expo customers candidate will be in charge of production of live events manage a production team and traveling throughout the u.s for live customer events candidate must be passionate about technology learning and client satisfaction or satisfaction candidate must have at least one to two years of experience in film editing experience working with corporations is a big plus now these details are pretty on point i mean there's not there's not much for me to uh comment on i mean they're pretty self-explanatory um other than you know you'll be in charge of production of live events and i would say those kind of those kind of details always lend itself to structure uh, on promptness and being able to put groups of people together who can deliver and execute okay um let me see what else did i mention talks about being passionate about technology and i always say you always want to be passionate about whatever it is you're doing okay so if you're passionate about technology you'll know everything that comes 
within these within this particular grind up which is technology and gear software media i mean it's media video so you know knowing all these different streaming platforms and other things that you can pull from just information wise and also they're saying if you have experience with corporations it's a huge plus which i always feel is definitely a plus because it, it allows you to understand the, the workflow of corporations and the posture of corporations okay all right moving on to grind up number five this is the last grind up of the day folks this is in the field of film again you know we've been getting a lot of film man it's really cool i know we got a lot a lot of recording connection film students that are able to you know join us on mondays and really really partake in some of these opportunities all right this is nonprofit organization seeking media editor to assist creative director in editing video material this is in bray california all right getting some grind up grind ops in uh my home um this is nonprofit organization okay ideal candidate must have a strong desire to help children in foster care that's dope uh, let's see candidate will be working on editing both audio and video experience with pro tools and adobe premiere this is a part-time position at least three days a week 20 24 hours 14 14 dollars per day or per hour my bad yeah i mean who would do 14 hours per day right <laughs> so this is 14 14 dollars per hour it's a non-profit and the great thing it's 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 a good cause you know it's good energy uh, it's you know they're asking that you have a strong desire to help children in foster care, which I always which I always you know anytime you're dealing with foster care and those things it's always a great opportunity to you know look at look at these kids as you know your next generation of you know creators or you know forward thinkers or you know just you know great things have always kind of festered in those kind of environments you know creativity. Um, and it just sounds like, you know, it's 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 a rewarding job, you know, when you see that you can you can make, you know, kids smile and, and, and put them on a course that they can love and appreciate. That's always a good feeling. Um, but this one you want to be experienced in Pro Tools and Adobe Premiere. Like I said, it's good in, to know an array of software and equipment that comes with these particular grind ops. So you're not just kind of a, a one dimensional kind of, you know, workhorse. Because um, you do need to be a workhorse in these environments. You do need to be able to get in there and grind. Uh, so we're looking for somebody that will be able to assist the creative director in editing video material and support creative production needs. So again, got to know how to work with folks. Uh, got to know how to, you know, be able to maneuver in different areas and, and, and make things happen within these particular needs and assets that they're asking you for. Uh, it's a part-time position. I always look at part-time positions that kind of come up in our grind ops as opportunities for you to get in there and become a staple, uh, become unremovable, um, and allows you, you know, an opportunity to get in there and overperform so that you can possibly become a full-time employee. Okay, so these are great opportunities. This is at least three days a week, twenty to twenty-four hours, and they're paying fourteen per hour. Okay, so that is grind op number five of the day. I'm going to move on to my favorite part, which is the Q&A part of the show, which we got a lot of questions in already. So I'm going to move on to these question folks and see what's, uh, see what's on your mind. Um, again, like I said, we got Maria in from Brazil. Uh, what up, Roy? Welcome from San Fernando. Uh, my boy Doug, who's from L.A., saying what up? Uh, Tahira, hello, DJ Is. Would you happen to have any creative writing jobs? Um... Not today, but we will just keep tuning in. Like I said, this is this is episode 21, and you'll be surprised of what we've had come in since episode one on your way. So definitely stay tuned, stay connected with us every Monday, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. All right, look forward to see, keep seeing you here. Uh, Wayne, what up? Greeting from San Antonio. All right, we got some folks tuning in today. I love it. Uh, Tuesday Watkins, what up? Um, hi, everybody. Uh, Mike D, I see you, Doug. What up from the, what up from the deserts of Palmdale, Cali? Oh man, what up, bro? Um, let's see here. All right, the R, the RF Tech Squad represent. Let's see here. Um, it's very awesome, but I'm almost forty years old. 
let's see here. Tuesday is saying some, some craziness. What up? This is very awesome, but I'm almost 40 years old starting out. Is that that would be a downside factor after I graduate from Coin Connections? You know what, man? It's never too late, bro. Uh, the great thing is, you know, it doesn't matter. You know, if it's your passion or something you love, man, you go for it. You know, never mind the time, never mind the age. Do what you love and always go for what you're trying to go for. That's what it comes down to, man. Uh, let's see. All right, Maria. Maria Armando from Brazil. I love cinema. I want to study in RFC, but I don't have money. Who can help me to study? Give an opportunity to work. Maria, stay tuned in because I'm going to shoot you a link. You'll see a link at my screen and also an email where you can email for those kind of questions uh, and get you dialed in. You know what I mean? I totally understand where you're coming from. And uh, just the fact that you even asked that is is great. So, um, folks, my teams, they're viewing. Uh, this is girl Maria who wants to study at the Recording Connection. So let's make sure we get her a link uh, where she can, you know, send an email. Um, oh, cool. Actually, we got it here. Maria, so this is what you want to do. You want to email connected at R-R-F-E-D-U dot com. We'll get you all the information and, and how you can can uh, just obtain the opportunities that we we present here uh, on Connected and uh, get you all the literature and info you need on the recording connection. OK, thank you for tuning in, girl. <clears throat> Let's see here. What else do we have? Uh, are there any advantages to an artist having their own label? That's a good question. Well, here's the thing. There's there's advantages um, if you have everything you need to have in place, okay? Because you can't just be an artist and then have a label, okay? As, as easy as that sounds, there's a whole lot of things that need to have happened and need to be in place. Meaning you need to do, you need to know business, okay? You need to, um, you know, you need to have a reason why you want to start a label, all right? Which is if it's you, the artist, or you got a stable of artists. Um, so in other words, you know, those are the things that, that you know, you got to think about, is there advantages as far as you being able to do what you want, call your own shots? Absolutely. But it only really makes sense when you get to that level. If you got relationships intact that you can call on, call on. I mean, it does get experience. It does get expensive and you want to have experience in dealing with budgets um, and managing and all those things. You know, one thing I tell folks that, that jump into that that circus is that it pulls on you so much as an artist if you don't have the right people in place and when things pull on you as an artist guess what it takes away from your creativity pulls you in all the directions and it makes you available to everybody and it's hard to be an artist and execute what you need to execute as an artist when you're being pulled in all different directions so you want to make sure you have a team you want to make sure everybody shares the same common vision and goal and you want to make sure you got a great body of work that you got great music music and that you you have all the necessary components in place to operate and function as a label so that's the short version of of what i would tell you long version would be you know at least a 20 minute combo but you know i want to give you a little something on that question uh let's see here what else we got uh, bear with me guys i'm trying to make sure we answer it all uh, you know what I love today about today's Q and A is that we got folks checking in from everywhere, um, and that and that's what I love to see. It's a good, good sign for what we're doing here every Monday for you guys. Um, so I'll wait for a couple um, more more questions to come in uh, if we do have any. Oh, sorry, not be a down. Um, so I'll give them more time. If you guys got any more questions you want to pop in, pop them in now. Um, but for the most part, like I was saying at the top of the show, um, I'm very excited about where we're getting ready to go and the things we're getting ready to add for you guys. Um, just as far as being able to see a couple of things, we got some great interviews um, that we're getting ready to have. We're, we're going to have some great features. We're going to have some personalities. Um, 
And we're going to keep just bringing you things that allow you to see that, you know, we're very much operating and functioning in the real workplace with real people. You know, this this show has never been strictly about mentoring and sharing information, education. It, it's been it's been a part of the part of the puzzle, part of the pieces. But I think in this day and age, folks want to obtain information. They want to get the education. They want to get they want to see what the opportunities are. But then they also want to have access to the actual opportunities. Right. I think there's a, an array of, of shows or programs out there that, that lend itself for, you know, mentoring and education. But this is the one show that we've put together that actually presents you with job opportunities, you know you know, a, a way to take the information, the mentoring, the education that we're giving you and bring it to life through one of these, one of these grind ups. And I think that's where, that's where the difference is in, in, is in for connected in, in what we're doing. And I, I love the fact that you guys consistently tune in every Monday and uh, are here to see what's cracking. And I'm always going to keep it 100 with you guys. You know, if this was me, you know, selling just some, some information, you know, trying to sell it to you guys and, and prompt you guys like, no, no, I'm here because there's job opportunities, which at the end of the day is where the tires meet the road for what it is we do. OK, mentoring information, we're bringing it all together so that you can actually take that information and that education and go get a job. The goal is here has always been to get you hired. And that's why, you know, those are the things the, the things we've stressed along the way is your resume. The fundamentals of business, the presentation. Is it how I talk to folks? Is it, you know, is it, do I need to wear a suit? All those, all those, you know, as simple as those questions are, that you'll be surprised how much they play a role in an environment where you're sitting at an interview and you're hoping this person will look at you and take you serious and hire you. You know, we've talked about, you know, the follow-up letter for the resume, you know, explaining why you feel you're fit for the job and why you should be hired. Those are the things that nobody really talks about anymore you know it's you know folks walking into places of business and asking if you're if, you know are you guys hiring you know it's like those things man you seem like as technology furthers itself we're getting away from the fundamentals and i think one of the things i, I wanted to bring with within the show is the fundamentals of how to get it done how to get into these places how to get these opportunities uh accessible all right so on that note, man, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play this little music I got in the back because I'm gonna sign out with some style and grace. All right, shout out to my connected team, Mike, Brian, Howie, make this possible for me to come and do for you guys every Monday at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So check in with us next Monday. We got some great things in the works, and we're always, always happy to bring you opportunities. All right. On that note. I'm out. See you next week. Peace.